Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I want today with some Happy Mail unpack unboxing. It's some Boo Mail, uh, totally surprised Boo Mail from Laura over at Laura V Crafty. Laura, I am so happy that you sent me something. Um, I was not expecting this and I'm just, I've had a really crappy day. I did not sleep well last night. I was up until about 3.30 and and then I just had, yeah, a totally crappy day at work. <laughs> um, so this will, I'm sure, most likely cheer me up quite a bit. So thank you, my friend. I truly appreciate it. And it's so funny because when I filmed my last Boo Mail from Jocelyn, um, she sent it in the same wrapper. So I don't know where you guys got these um, little envelopes, but they're so cute. <laughs> so I just have it flipped over. And it looks like she's got all kinds of stuff in here. So I'm going to take that out and we're going to go through it together. And it looks like she sent me a bunch of goodies. Thank you so much, Laura. You are so sweet. And like I said, I just was in need of something to cheer me up. So the first couple of things it looks like she sent me were some tiny little bits of fabric. And these are absolutely adorable. It's a fat quarter. She got me one with little pumpkins. These are so cute. And then I love this one with the little black cats. How adorable. Where did you get these? From Walmart, maybe? I don't go to Walmart very often, but these are adorable. Love the little cats so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She also sent me some 3D shimmer stickers. Oh, this is a lighted embellishment ornament from... Oh, wow. I don't know if you can really see it in the camera but it does light up just um, around the letters that's so cool um this is from paper house i know she was getting a lot of things from them as like a, I don't know if she was doing like a collab or something but thank you so much this is really cool and those little ghosties are super cute thank you thank you okay she did send me some black and white straws which these always come in handy for projects I love using straws. I, I need to use my straws more. I keep buying them because I find really pretty ones. And I have them set aside for specific things and then I forget about them. <laughs> so um, She also sent me some sweet treats. Uh, quite a few little things actually. She sent me a blow pop in the... I'm guessing this is grape. Yeah, grape flavor. Which is actually one of my favorites. Thank you. She sent me a little Reese cup. Everyone loves Reese's, I think. And then she sent me two Sour Punch um, candies. So I got those little sweet treats. And then these, I think, were just kind of floating around in the package. Um, just some little kitties, um, like chipboard stickers. Thank you for those. And then the main... Oh, no, there's more. Sorry. <laughs> she sent me Al's some treats. Thank you. I know he will love these. I'll give him some when I go back upstairs. Thank you, thank you. My boy loves the soft treats. And he loves loved the ones that you sent last time. So she has something here wrapped up for me in this awesome tissue paper, which I will save and reuse. And it looks like she sent me a like a bag of goodies. I love these holographic bags. And then she's just attached a little embellishment on here that has um, a little black cat and a little spider. Now let me ask you, Laura, what did you use to glue your, um, what did you use to glue your spiders on? Because the little spiders I have like this never want to stick to anything. Like, literally, I have to use E6000 or Gorilla Glue, or they will not stick. They pop off if I use hot glue or wet glue or anything. Um, so message me and let me know what you use for, um, gluing these little rubbery spiders on. This is so cute, though. And then she just put a little note in here. It says, you've been booed. Happy Halloween, my friend. Give me owls an extra goodie for me. <laughs> I definitely will. Thank you. And then she has this little um, holographic bag. So I'm going to get my scissors and we'll see what is in here. I hear something shaking around. All right. It's taped up, so I'm going to have to cut it open. All right. Okay. So, oh, this is full of shred, all kinds of goodies in here. Let's see. Oh, she created like a little, um, almost like a little Halloween um, trick-or-treat bag. This is so cute. Did you, did you use like a tutorial or anything for this? Because I actually kind of want to make one of these. <gasps> Look at this resin 
ghosty. He's all glittery. And I'm sure Laura made this because she does resin. That is so cute. And then, of course, she used the paper with the cats on it and the little, um, little kitty um, cluster here with the little holographic. And then she stitched in silver all around. So cute. And then she added a little... Um, a little layering piece here that just says happy Halloween and she's distressed it a little bit with some ink okay and then she's got some shred in here which again I will keep all of that and reuse it oh my goodness she sent me so much Laura <laughs> oh cool she sent me one of those little syringe um, things from the Dollar Tree I know Nikki uses those for sequin mixes as well oh my goodness she sent me so many goodies We'll take them all out and then check out everything together. All right. Oh my goodness, she has this little bag packed full. So, oh, and there's another little kitty sticker in the bottom. This little bag is so cute. I'm gonna message you because I need to know how to make these. Um, because I'm doing a swap, uh, and I wanted uh, like a 3D. I'm doing a 3D project for someone, and I was thinking about doing like a little trick or treat bag, but I wasn't sure what. Um wasn't sure how to like make one so I'm gonna message you this, this is adorable I love it so much all right so first thing that we're gonna check out is this syringe um, from the Dollar Tree it's got a little sequin mix in there with some orange and black and holographics she's got some stars in there super cute mix and then she's got a resin um, heart uh, spider web did you make this too this is a really cool resin piece. I'm going to take this off here and maybe use it as a, a dingle on something. So cute. And then she's added a little epoxy sticker on the end. So cute. Okay, she's got this little candy container with a bunch of charms in it. Oh my goodness. You sent me so many little charms. See, last year she was like, I'm embarrassed. I didn't send her much. And then this year, she goes way overboard. <laughs> Thank you. I have not had any time to do any crafting over the last couple of weeks. Not since I did those um, craft with me's a couple of weeks ago. Just because I'm trying to get through my work week and also get prepared to go to Ireland this weekend. Um, I love traveling, but... The actual, like, packing and getting ready for a trip stresses me out so much. and gives me, like, a ton of anxiety. Uh, and that's why I was up so late last night. <laughs> I just could not get to sleep. I laid in bed and laid in bed, tossed and tossed. And finally I was able to pass out around, like, 3.30. And then I woke up before 8. So I'm running on about four-ish hours of sleep. So I am pretty tired today. But... And then work was just kind of rough. It was just one of those days. But I am hoping that once I get back from Ireland next week, I can do some Halloween crafting and um, finish up the swap that I have for um, Cheryl and Rachel. And then also I have a couple other little things I want to work on before I start fall crafting. And speaking of fall crafting, um, I am waiting eagerly for that new Simple Stories um, Harvest Market collection to come out. I don't understand why they still haven't released it yet. And I have the, the like text alerts set up on um, scrapbook.com. But you guys, as soon as that collection comes out, I am grabbing it up because it is so adorable. Um, and as I've mentioned previously, I love fall crafting so much. And I just don't think that I'm going to have as much time to do it this year. But I'm going to get some done for sure. Alright, she had this tape taped up really well, so that's why it took me so long. Sorry about that. So she's got all kinds of little goodies in here. We have... Let me see. We're going to just use this little tray that's sitting on my desk that I, <laughs> that I bought the other day. Let me pull this off of here. Sorry, you guys. Totally unprepared. Um, but she sent all kinds of little goodies in this little container. We have a silver... Um, tassel one of these striped beads I think these are from Joann's maybe um, a little pumpkin charm we have tons of little tiny charms in silver which are super cute a little fishbone a cat a ghost another cat 
Those kitty ones are super cute. We have another little kitty, a little black cat here. We have a little, like a star shape. Why are you not focusing? Come on. I'm filming on my new phone, which I got last week, and it doesn't seem to want to focus. Come on. I don't know if it's because I have so much stuff in the background, maybe. But there's all kinds of little goodies in here. We have some more spider webs, little cats, pumpkins, a little witch's broom. That's really cute. Another little witch's broom. Um, we have some star shapes, more kitties. Oh, look at that little ghost. He's so cute. Um, we have this little, this little ghosty. Tons of little silver ones. This little hat with like a dangle. A little witch's hat with a dangle. Um, another little witch's broom. Uh, a little, little witch on her broom. Skull and crossbones. Spiders. Another little witch. Another kitty. Some stars. Another spider web. One of those like, really cute little um, skeletons. And then a little candy. So those are the little charms that she sent in this container. I'm just going to leave those in there for now. <laughs> um, she sent me this cute little wire-wrapped bead mix on, in, this little char, on this little jar from Dollar Tree, I'm guessing. Uh, and it has little clear stickers and holographic. I think those are from that sticker book from Joanne's last year. And then another resin piece. It's like a little potion bottle. And then this is... um. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's stuck. They're stuck. <laughs> you filled it up too much. <laughs> They're really stuck in there. I'll have to like maneuver them somehow. But there's some beautiful wire wrapped beads in there. Black and white, orange, some that like really cool purple silver one. Or, like purpley holographic, I should say. Some little stars, some shimmery ones, a candy corn. Oh, I like that little one there. Really cute. And a black tassel. A little skull on the top. Thank you so much for those. And then she also included this really cute little kitty. And he's orange. So that makes me look think of meows. So cute. She made this little, um, I think it's like a little matchbox kind of thing. Um, with a little bead or a bat dangle on the one side. And a little spider on the other side. Super cute. And then it's got this tiny little paper ruffle across the top as a little topper and then has a little holographic bat sticker and a little um, pumpkin flat back and then she's got this closed off with some velcro and then she's got oh look how cute that little cauldron is with that little tiny broom she's got a little dangle on there that is like a fishbone and she's got a little holographic fishbone in the mix it's a little shaker cauldron that witch broom is oh it goes the spider goes on there oh my god that is so adorable how cute is that? I love that little witch broom. And then she's got a little envelope here. And she's included some little pumpkin, like, I think they're technically considered buttons at Joann's, but they're like little flatbacks. Thank you so much for these little goodies. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I can't get over that little broom. It's so cute. So cute. All right. She sent me, it looks like a package of some little die cuts. All right. So we have, um, this is a cute little bag topper, by the way. It's got like some cool zigzaggy stitching on it in silver. So she sent me a bunch of little kitties. Laura and I constantly send videos of cats back and forth to each other. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at these cats. Oh my goodness, those are so cute. Where did you get this dye? They're so cute. <laughs> I love them. They are so stinking cute. All these little ghost kitties. How adorable are these? And then she's got a little, that one, a little skeleton kitty. And then a plain black cat. Like shimmer paper. Another ghost. And then she sent me a bunch of the little shimmer cats in, like, it's almost, it's, it's probably supposed to be black, but it's more of like a gray. Really cute. 
Oh my gosh, I love these. And then this one's like a little scaredy cat. And then this one. How cute, Laura. Thank you so much. I love those ghosts. They're so stinking cute. Thank you, thank you. Love those. And then she sent me some more die cuts. Oh my gosh. Was this was was this something that you were making with that other that swap that you were doing? I think it was like a um there might have been I think she entered some sort of um it was like a someone was hosting something and I know she entered. I don't know if die cuts were part of it, but <laughs> I made out with the with the die cuts. So again, a little topper there, and then she's got tons of die cuts in here. We have a little vellum ghost. A little vellum ghost. We have a little, um, this is like foam, a little ghost there. Um, this one that says trick or treat with holographic. Another little holographic ghost. So cute. Tons of tiny little spiders. Um, they're so, and like that shimmer paper. And some in just black. We have this little candy bucket. A little layered pumpkin. This one that says boo in metallic orange. This little witch's broom is super cute. Little um, skeleton lady. Witch's hat. The little flatback spider. Oh my gosh, she sent me so many. Look at these spiders. So cool. Little fence. This one that says Happy Halloween. Um, some like lots of layering pieces. Like little bats and pumpkins. Oh my goodness, she sent me so many. This is awesome. Little teeny tiny doily. Oh my gosh, and these little pieces are so tiny. There's like tiny, tiny, tiny little, oh, I think one fell. Um, tiny, tiny little vellum ghosts. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh my goodness. And then a tiny little fishbone. <laughs> How adorable. A spider, a couple spider webs. And then these tiny, tiny little pieces. A bat. Another couple little holographic ghosts. Um, another little foam ghost. And then some more little bats in the paper. And then one in foam with some like shimmer paper. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you pieced together these tiny little things. This tiny little hat. Oh my gosh, these are so little. Another little vellum ghost. And another little fish bone. And a little happy Halloween. So, tons of tiny little die cuts. Thank you so much. She also sent me these little stickers. That, oh, she made me some little stickers that have my handle on it. How adorable. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Booed by Tina's Craft Creations, and they have little kitties on there, and they're orange. Oh my god, I love them. These are so cute. How adorable. And then she sent me some little circle ones. Again, a little orange kitty. She knows how much I love my boy. These are so adorable. Oh, I love it so much. Thank you, thank you. I can't wait to put those on some Halloween projects. Love those. And then she also sent me um, some acrylic uh, or some resin pieces. Um, and she <laughs> she got me back. So I have to cut into this to get these out. Because I did that to her last Christmas. And she was so upset that she had to um, cut into the packaging that I sent her. But she sent me one of those beautiful little sparkly ghosts. A little witch's hat. A pumpkin. A little bat, um, a skull, and one that says boo. So cool. These are awesome, Laura. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this awesome boo mail. I love it so much. Like I said, I was having such a, a bad day, and this really made me, just cheered me right up. So thank you. I totally appreciate you. 
And um, if anyone has any questions, let me know. I will link Laura's information down below. If you don't already follow her, you absolutely should. She's one of the sweetest people I know, and I'm so grateful for her friendship. And yeah, um, if anyone uh, has not already subscribed, I would greatly appreciate if you would consider that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.